In the wake of Dmitry Bivol's narrow loss to Artur Baterbiev on Saturday night, his manager has pledged to file a formal objection to the fight's controversial scoring. Boxing promoter Eddie Hearn expressed disappointment and frustration over the outcome of the fight between his fighter, Dmitry Bivol, and Artur Baterbiev. Hearn strongly believed that Bivol had won the fight, and he criticized the judge who scored the bout 116-112 in Baterbiev's favor. Hearn acknowledged Bivol's years of hard work and dedication, expressing sympathy for the fighter's loss. He emphasized that he had Bivol winning the fight and questioned the judge's decision, which he deemed unfair and inaccurate. Because they're just incredible fighters. But I find it sickening that after a lifetime of hard work, Dimitri Bivo is not undisputed champion tonight. He won that fight. I struggled to find anybody on our road, a road behind, on the, the TV rows, who didn't score the fight to Dimitri Bivo. To find a judge give that fight 116-112 and give Dimitri Bivo four rounds in that fight, this judge should never work in the sport again. And I'm sorry, and everything you're going to get out of Dimitri is, I can do better, it's boxing, I take the judge's scorecard, but I'm, I, don't, I, don't, I don't buy it. Eddie exclaimed that Better BF's corner told him to go for the knockout after the 10th round of the fight, which proves that they knew Better BF was behind on the cards. Eddie also hopes that Turkey Alashik offers Bivol a rematch after such an exceptional performance. Eddie, uh, I was surprised by the decision, but it's just a joke. A joke. Say that again. It's a joke. Yeah. They knew. Mm. They told him in the 10th round, you have to knock him out to win this fight. Who told him? The corner? Yeah, it's yeah. on TV. Yeah. It's, they're all standing in the corner. The fight's over. We're in the Bivol's corner. I'm looking yeah. around. They are like this. Mm. How could you score that by 8-4 to ask a better bit? Mm. Unbelievable. Terrible decision. Terrible decision. What, what can be done? What are you guys going to do to... Listen, hopefully His Excellency will do the decent thing and yeah. give both Vivo a rematch. Mm. It was a masterclass performance in what was an amazing fight. And I don't want to disrespect Artur Betsebiev because he's an incredible champion. But he did not win that fight. Mm. Dimitri Bivo won that fight. Even Frank Warren, better Biev's promoter, believed that Bivol prevailed by a couple of rounds. Warren expressed disbelief at the judge who only awarded Bivol four rounds, questioning the legitimacy of his assessment. Brilliant night, wasn't it? Great fights. Um, really, really, real quality fights. The main event was a brilliant main event. I thought the puppet was, it was, both guys' attributes were on display and I thought it was, I just thought it was, you know, something extra, extra special. But I thought that people won it by a couple of rounds. I think that's the general consensus online. I just spoke to him and he said he feels empty. Yeah, I'm sure he's very disappointed. I think the judge who gave him four rounds out of those 12, I don't know what he was watching. Bivol comprehended Hearn's perspective and did not interpret his comments as a personal attack. He acknowledged that Hearn was advocating for him and acting in a manner that he believed was appropriate for the situation. Well, someone who wasn't calm was your promoter, Eddie Hearn. He said it was a joke, it was sickening, uh, it's a disgrace, but he's yeah. just doing his job, I guess, yeah? He's, uh, he's doing his job and uh, he has his own opinion and uh, his personality is different than mine. My personality is different, and he he see that it's uh, in his uh, opinion it's not fair, and he have to tell this. This is his job. Uh, hmm. uh, can I get my, your Can I get your opinion my, on the one sixteen one twelve card? My my job is uh, to go to the ring and uh, do everything perfect, yeah, and be with the with the with the belts, and that's it. Don't ask me about. Judges, which <laughs> which score I think, how many rounds I won, or this and that, it just doesn't matter now. I I don't want to come back and digging this. Uh, I will move forward. With unwavering determination, Bivol articulates his fervent desire for a rematch. He recognizes Baterbiev as a formidable adversary and seeks another opportunity to demonstrate his ability to prevail. This is Omar for Box Nation. I'm joined by Dimitri Bivol. Firstly, Dimitri, congratulations on a great fight. Um, honestly, you must feel like you won that tonight. Everyone says you have. Yeah, guys, I don't have any excuses. I don't have belts. I didn't win the fight. It means I just won a rematch and uh, that's it. I want to get another chance if it's possible. I, I could be better, I know. So honestly, going into the last couple of rounds, though, we could hear artist team saying, you need a knockout, you need a knockout, Dimitri. It doesn't matter what we, we heard. We see decision. Congratulations, Arthur. See, 
Guys, I just don't want to say anything. Thanks for this chance to Saudi Arabia, to Turkey, Al Sheikh. Uh, I could, I could win this fight, but I didn't. But that's it. Are you not happy with your performance tonight, though, Dimitri? I'm You're... not happy with my performance because I don't have my belts. During the fight, Bivol believed he landed more clean punches, but he opted not to count the rounds as he was fully concentrated on the match. While Bivol acknowledges the loss, he is eager for another opportunity to face better BF in the ring. I just felt like uh, uh, I look at the eyes of my team, I felt like it was good because uh, for me cleaning punches, it was, uh, I felt like I land more clean punches. But, this is boxing. You should count in rounds. I didn't count rounds. You want a rematch? Of course, I want to get the chance. Yeah. Again. To evade Baterbiev's relentless pressure, Bivol strategized to maintain distance from the ropes. His aim was to catch Baterbiev off guard with precise, clean punches. Bivol anticipated that Baterbiev's intensity would intensify towards the end of each round, so he adjusted his tactics accordingly. My plan was not stand uh, in front of the uh, okay, ropes, uh, uh, ropes, yeah, and uh, I knew that he's uh, more pressure uh, to the end of the rounds. In the beginning he was calm, calm, and then he was waiting. And I was also waiting him, I, I was trying to catch him, I was trying to be clean, to do perfect punches, you know, without wasting time without just throwing some punches because when you're throwing punch you are opening and uh, with this fighter as him it's it's very dangerous to be open a lot. Furthermore, Bivol recognized the power of Beterbiev's punches, especially those that struck his arm. However, he did not deem them to be the hardest punches he has ever endured. He's good, he's strong. He's strong, yeah. Uh, he, he punched a lot on my uh, on my arm, but you see my face. Yeah. Is, is he the strongest punch you've been in with? No, yeah, his his punch is strong, but not as strong that yeah. everybody's trying to make him super strong. In an attempt to motivate his fighter, Betterbeev's trainer instructed him to aim for a knockout. Despite this directive, the trainer expressed doubt about the outcome, acknowledging that he lacked confidence in the decision's success. Fighthot.com. Or was you confident going into the last round? Listen, that was a kind of mix. We know that was a very, very close fight. But I told Astro, like, we need knockout. We need to go. We need to go. Because when he put pressure on him, he was alone. And that's exactly what I want to create, like some emotion. Let's stay with him. And uh, we, I think we win the two last round and win the fight. How, how did you score it yourself? Very close. At the end, I was not sure. Like, maybe draw, maybe I win, maybe... That was a uh, very close fight, but we win the second part of the, uh, of the fight, of course. Vadim Kornilov, Dmitry Bivol's manager, expressed significant disappointment with the judge's decision in the recent fight. In his assessment, the match warranted a draw, or even a victory for Bivol. Kornilov questions the judge's rationale, particularly their focus on Artur's aggression as the sole factor determining the outcome. He emphasizes that Bivol landed more precise and impactful shots, which should have been taken into account in the scoring process. I thought it's at least a draw, like I just said over there, it's at least a draw and the uh... You know, they, they should respect the champions, both of them. Not taking anything away from Betterbeef. He did a great job. He was coming forward. But at the end of the day, you know, if you count the cleaner landed punches, I think Dmitry won the fight. Did you feel like even whilst he was fighting on the back foot, there was so much success from uh, Dmitry that, you know, them, them judges that maybe maybe were looking at the aggression of Betterbeef didn't look at the back foot, good work from Bivol. Like I said again, you can't only look at aggression, you know, you got to look on the, the, the landed punches. Uh, people always talk, oh, some judges like people coming forward or other judges like people coming backwards, but why is it always that our guys are the ones that, you know, th there's always a justification. Like, oh, he wasn't coming forward or he was going backwards. I mean, w w what do they expect, that somebody's going to push Arthur back? I mean, you got to box him. That's the way you, you win a fight like that. You got to box, and that's what Mitri did. Despite the widespread belief that Bivol emerged victorious, Connor Ben held a contrasting view, asserting that Beterbiev was the rightful winner of the fight. Ben emphasized the significance of a rematch between the two boxers in the near future, underscoring the need to determine the definitive victor. Hunt.com, Connor Ben, how did you score that fight? I had Beterbiev winning the fight. Um, obviously, a lot of people online saying Bivol won it. People I know who are watching the fight 
on TV said Bibbo had won it. I had the of winning, winning the fight. I think Bibbo started off fast in the early rounds, started slowing down the Tevye. Do you think a rematch is greater? Yeah, definitely. I don't think it goes any other way. I think the Tevye just puts, you know, applies pressure on Hunter, Hunter's play down. Boxing commentator Robert Garcia scored the fight in favor of Dimitri Bivol awarding him seven rounds to Canelo Alvarez's five. Garcia's analysis emphasizes Bivol's dominance in the first three rounds, highlighting his effective combinations and strong performance in the later stages of the fight. However, Garcia acknowledges that the judges may have been influenced by Artur Beterbiev's aggressive style and relentless pressure throughout the bout, which may have swayed their scoring decision. Me, me personally, I thought, uh, I thought Bivol pulled it off by, you know, Five, you know, seven to five, very close. I thought he pulled it out. I thought he he, he won the first three rounds. I think uh, uh, with his combinations moving around, and I, and I think he still won a few more rounds after that. You know, <coughs> using that, you know, that technique. You know, you know, beating him to the punch. And uh, in the late rounds, there was a few moments where where he where he we, he was able to back him up, and that was, that's when he was a little successful. But but being a bit kept putting pressure and, and, and even though Bivol was blocking a lot, he was he was he stayed busy, he stayed busy throwing punches. So I'm pretty sure that's why the judge has seen it. But me personally Atlas was critical of Bivol's performance, suggesting that his strategic choices were detrimental to his chances of winning the fight. He emphasized the need for Bivol to adjust his approach dynamically, particularly in response to Beterbiev's powerful and aggressive style. Atlas added, Bivol did a great job of being defensive when he had to, but being set for offense. He didn't let the better beef walk in and overcome him, because if you just move on him and use your legs, better beef is just going to track you down, and he's going to get you like he's tracking prey down. In the seventh round, Bivol's mini flurry of punches to the head invigorated Baterbiev, prompting him to launch a relentless attack in the final minute. The impact of Baterbiev's powerful headshots left Bivol noticeably affected afterward. In the subsequent five rounds, Bivol's reluctance to attack became evident, which allowed Baterbiev to dominate and control the pace of the fight, securing his victory in rounds eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. I, I'm not saying he's dirty. I'm saying he'll do what he's got to do. It's up to the ref to decipher it. He leaves it up to the ref. He, he's that guy. I get it. He, you know, defend yourself at all times. Leave it up to So when he gets close, he's going to hit you wherever he can hit you. Mm -hmm. And I thought there was one time he, he may have, I'd have to see it again. I wonder if you saw this, where he may have hit people behind the head a little bit. It impacted people. It, it, it bothered him, it hurt him. And it took a whole round where people couldn't do what he was doing, where it was offense. He had a nice combination of offense and defense. He had to go fully defensive to survive that round. So he threw away that round. That round was thrown away with that moment. In boxing matches, Teddy Atlas emphasized the significance of judging criteria. According to him, judges should prioritize fighters who consistently land cleaner and more impactful punches. Additionally, they should evaluate who maintains control of the ring and dictates the pace of the fight, as these factors contribute to determining the superior boxer. Right. And, and uh, there was one other turning point. There was a round where he was putting punches together beautifully. He'd be in people. Beautiful. I said, oh my God. He's Bing, 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 bing. He put him, and I said, I made a note right there. Don't get greedy. Don't get greedy. One too many, you got a problem. And blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, instead of four, he threw the fifth. Bang! He gets hit, he gets hurt. The whole round changes. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, yeah. All of a sudden, it's the other guy's round. From a magnet, from a dominant round, it becomes the other guy. Those are the kind of rounds that made it difficult to score. So I see Eddie Hurts, I see Frank Warren, I see all these guys who know the sport thinking, forget about that, that, that Hearn has people. No, no, I, I can see him making a legitimate round. I thought the 116, 112 was absurd. Um, again, I, I, I can see one point, two points, I had it two. I can see it a draw. Mm -hmm. You want to flip it one point for Bevo? I, I mean, it's within that territory, right. but uh, I, I think what's not disputable is that at the end of the day, Better be in the championship rounds was able to impose his physicality, which he hadn't been able to completely do that up to that point. Teddy Atlas felt that the Bivol versus Baterbia fight was a great fight and that it was worthy of a unification. He was particularly impressed with Baterbiev's performance and said that he is a very technically sound fighter. He also said that Bivol is a very mentally tough fighter and that he was not surprised that he was able to go the distance with Baterbiev. When I said to you, 
I'm gonna pick Bevo. So full disclosure, I picked the wrong guy. Um, I'm gonna pick Bevo to win. But the reason I'm picking him, we know he can box, we know he's sophisticated, we know he's mm -hmm. pop. I'm picking him because of this. Because I don't think he'll be evaporated like the other guys, like the other 20. I think he's mentally right. durable enough. I did say it. He's mentally durable enough, strong enough. To, and, and I stand on that. Amir Khan was impressed by Artur's performance and called him a beast. Amir predicted Bivol to win, but after watching Better Biev's aggression and immense pressure during the fight, he became a fan of the new undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Put big shots was landing, big shots were getting defended. I mean, but one thing I can say, it's the first time I saw Arthur fight Better Biev. What a beast he is. I mean, look, I thought Bivol was going to go into this fight and win this fight, but after watching this fight and watching him fight how he fought, what a beast he is. Honestly, like there's no one beating him. The guy was punch perfect, great defense, it's very strong, hits hard with both hands. And you can see how marked up Bivol was. I mean, look at uh, B uh, look at uh, Arthur now. I mean, he's he just doing an interview right now. There's no marks on his face. It just shows, I mean, this guy's an animal. According to Khan, Better Biev's sustained pressure and prolific output in the championship rounds of the fight were instrumental in securing his victory. But when I when I watched it from the last two rounds were the championship rounds where Bivol uh, was on his back foot and Better Biev put the pressure on, pushed him back with some heavy shots, and it just showed to me that Bivol just couldn't keep up with him. Turki Alalshik expressed his opinion on the fight, proclaiming it to be one of the most remarkable he had witnessed in over two decades. However, he conveyed his conviction that the final outcome was unjust. No, no, I don't think it's a, it is. It is one of the great fight I ever I see in the last at least 20 years. Okay, fantastic. But, but I don't think the the result is fair, in my opinion. Al Al Sheikh said that he gave two more rounds to Bevel and couldn't understand how a judge could score 116 112 in such a close contest. Al Al Sheikh also mentioned that a rematch is in the cards if the two fighters agree to it. But I think Bevel win more than two rounds more. I don't know why uh, the result like this, but in my opinion, I will focus and I will try to do the rematch. I was just about to say that. We know that you they are all about it. making the they best fight possible. It. If they accept, we will do it. While Bater BF acknowledged Bivol's impressive performance, he simultaneously offered criticism, suggesting that Bivol could have elevated his game to a higher level as a boxer. Uh, yeah, he did a good job. Like, you know, I don't know how, how, he, uh, how he measured his work. I mean, good or not, but I am not bad boxer. I did not bad work, but I think Mark, uh, my coach, my team will uh, prove my. Uh, I did what we prepared. I did some part of this work, not all the work. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> you know, if be honest, I always more critic of myself, and uh, even all my. Uh, last 20 fights, I'm because of her luck, I win them by QO. I'm always complaining about my skills, performance, you know. That's why I'm not, I don't like what I did. I mean, I want to do more better always. On the other hand, Bivol says that he felt Baturbiev's pressure during the fight, but it wasn't something that was out of his control at any moment of the fight. To be honest, I didn't feel that I was in groggy or something like this. Uh, I felt some pressure, but uh, it was control, un under my control, to be honest. Uh, yeah, I felt that he's pressuring and uh, I needed it. I needed it more from him, to be honest. If the boxing enthusiasts desire a rematch, Bivol expresses his willingness to once again pursue the undisputed opportunity. I think about uh, rematch, uh, we should ask uh, boxing fans, do they want this rematch? Yes. If they want, I, yes. I would like to give uh, this rematch and I would like to get this chance, of course, again. Moreover, Dimitris Bivol's ex-wife, who has accused the boxer of some serious allegations, was very happy that Bivol lost the fight. She was seen celebrating her ex-husband's defeat and thanked Artur for getting the W. Artur! Artur! Da! Because the karma has stigled Bivol. Go to your house! I'm wrong! What's up, guys? What's up? The karma has stigled his Artur! I'm happy for you.
вперед. Теперь мое дело в суде. Артур Батербиев added the WBA belt to his WBO, IBF and WBC titles, winning a controversial majority decision against Dmitry Bivol. Batterbiev maintained an aggressive approach, but Bivol showcased his exceptional counter-punching skills. The outcome sparked a lively debate within the combat sports community, with opinions varying widely. Controversial boxing star Ryan Garcia simply wrote, Wow, robbery if you ask me. Gervonta Davis tweeted on X saying, 116-112 is diabolical. Was the judge even watching the fight? Shakur Stevenson tweeted on X saying, 115-113, 116-112. He later added, Boxing is so terrible. Clarissa Shields tweeted, Hmm, this fight didn't live up to the hype to me. 114-114, 113-114, 115-112. -114, Better beef. Darren Till tweeted on X saying, Judges again. Great fight. I had Bival slightly. These scorecards are ridiculous as always. Blockpicks tweeted on X saying, Just when we thought boxing was back, one judge scores at 116-112 for Arthur Betterbiev. What a joke. Dimitri Bivol, what a fighter. Bivol led the initial rounds, but as for Betterbiev, he picked up steam later. There were a couple of close rounds which could have gone either way, and they went to Baterbiev, it seems. Tony Bellu shared similar thoughts as he had Bivol leading. He declared, I've got Bivol winning that. The last round was so close again, but I just feel Bivol landed the better shots all night long. Great combinations, great fight. Baterbiev was outstanding. Nearly 40 years old and he's finishing fights as strong as he did when he was 20. Well done to both warriors. Although the bout concluded the discussion surrounding the undisputed champion of the light heavyweight division, it did so amid significant controversy. The reason? A considerable number of observers believe the judges ought to have declared Dmitry Bivol the victor. In fact, a majority within the boxing community had wagered on the 33-year-old's success, including notable figures like Oleksandr Usyk. When asked for his prediction, the undisputed heavyweight champion D, I guess Bivol, he has good legs, good movement. I watched the fight with Canelo Alvarez, good boxing, defending, counterpunch and combos. Despite nearing 40, Baterbiev maintained high forward pressure throughout the fight, which helped him edge out Bivol in close rounds. It seemed that the judges preferred his aggression. Shakur Stevenson took a jibe at the scorecards, which were lopsided in Betterbiev's favor. He penned 115, 113, 116, 112. Many had Bivol up on their cards, including Chris Mannix, who gave the fight to Bivol, but that's now how the judges saw it. However, Clarissa Shields came closest to the judges' scorecard, as she had Baterbiev narrowly winning the fight. She announced, hmm, this fight didn't live up to the hype to me. 114, 114, 113, 114, 115, 112. Peter Bief. Dmitry Bivol suffered the first loss of his professional career, much to the delight of his ex-wife, against Artur Beterbiev in Riyadh. The former WBA and IBO light heavyweight champion was immensely gracious despite the controversial result, refraining from commenting on the judges' scorecards as he did not want to make any excuses for his defeat. Bivol's promoter, Eddie Hearn, did not remain tight-lipped, however, and took aim at the judges during the post-fight press conference. He said, I don't want to disrespect Artur Beterbiev and his team because they're they're just incredible fighters. But I find it sickening that after a lifetime of hard work, Dmitry Bivol is not the undisputed champion tonight. He won that fight. I struggled to find anybody on our row, the row behind, the TV rows who didn't score the fight for Dmitry Bivol. To find a judge who gave that fight 116-112 and give Dmitry four rounds in that fight, this judge should never work in the sport again. Dmitry Bivol's manager, Vadim Kornilov, vowed to submit an official protest against the scoring that resulted in his fighter narrowly losing to Artur Beterbiev on Saturday. Saturday night. Kornilov expressed his frustration with the outcome of the fight, stating, We're going to file a protest on Monday. I think the judge has to at least have some kind of responsibility for what he did. It's becoming very destructive to the sport what they're doing. Kornilov also questioned the integrity of the judge's decision, saying, This judge has done a lot of fights, and he has been good in other fights. It would be good if they can sit him down and have him count the punches landed. Bivol agreed with his manager's assessment of the fight, saying, I don't agree with the decision. I thought I won the fight. I landed more punches and I controlled the pace. Bivol's manager, Vadim Kornilov, expressed his dissatisfaction with the judging in the recent fight between Artur Baterbiev and Dmitry Bivol, which resulted in a controversial split decision victory for Baterbiev. Kornilov pointed out that the judge in question, Pavel Kardini, is an experienced judge, having scored fights since 2001, and has also been a referee for the last three years according to BoxRec. He was also a judge at Bivol's previous fight where he stopped Malik Zenit in the sixth round. However, in this particular fight, Kornilov believes that Kardini Cardini made significant errors in his scoring. Kornilov emphasized the importance of reviewing Cardini's scorecard, 
116, 1 and 12 in favor of Betterbiev, and analyzing how he counted the punches landed by both fighters. He said, This judge has done a lot of fights, and he has been good in other fights. It would be good if they can sit him down and have him count the punches landed. I want to see his 116, 1 and 12 card, and how he counted the landed punches from Betterbiev on Bivol, and which ones he was counting to get to that scorecard. Furthermore, Kornilov alleged that one of the fight supervisors was seen tapping and congratulating members of top rank, Beterbiev's promotional company, even before the official decision was announced. This behavior, in Kornilov's view, raises concerns about potential bias or undue influence on the judge's scoring. He added, One of the supervisors was tapping the top rank guys and congratulating them before the decision was announced. Bivol maintained his composure and refused to be drawn into any discussions or speculations regarding the allegiances or behaviors of the judges during the fight. His focus remained solely on his performance in the ring. He said, My job is to go to the ring and do everything perfect and leave with the belts. That is it. Don't ask me about judges, which score I think, how many rounds I won, or this and that. Bivol emphasized that such considerations were irrelevant to his ultimate goal. He expressed his determination to move forward and improve upon his performance in the upcoming rematch. He added, It doesn't matter. I will move forward. Everything I have to do is better than this fight in the rematch. Bivol's unwavering concentration on his own performance and his refusal to engage in speculation about external factors demonstrated his mental fortitude and unwavering commitment to his craft. In the aftermath of Dmitry Bivol's post-fight press conference, it would be prudent to engage in a discourse concerning the potential rematch between Bivol and Beterbiev. Please share your valued insights and perspectives on this matter in the comment section provided below.